Former friend of Kevin Hart, JT Jackson, stopped by Comedy Hype to clear his name as the man who was accused of extorting Hart over a sex tape scandal back in 2017. Now, if you remember, in 2018, JT was arrested and charged with one attempt of extortion and extortion by a threatening letter. When the news broke, Kevin posted a tweet expressing his disbelief. Since the beginning, JT has maintained his innocence, and in 2019, the charges were dropped. In the first clip of his talk with us, JT voiced his frustration that Kevin didn't reach out and talk to him before he went to the public. In the studio, we've got our comedy hype analyst Capone, and calling in, we got Pierre to share their reaction. Now, I know we've all heard of this situation with Kevin back in 2018 when everything was coming up. So before we dive into currently, I wanna, wanna know what were your, your thoughts, and Capone, I wanna start with you. What were your thoughts when you hear all this unfolding? Uh, should've been more careful. <laughs> <laughs> Who should've been, Kevin or? Kevin, you should've been more careful. Alcohol and chicks don't mix. Mm. And uh, you know, you can't say you didn't do it, it was on tape. And uh, whoever, whoever did the tape, uh, obviously had some plans for it and uh being that jt got accused i think that was really bad and after it was said that kevin didn't believe he he did it right right he was kind of right. iffy he about it he should have reached out to him i mean he should have reached out to him and you know charges are being dropped and i just think that that's messed up even if he still hasn't reached out to him right. to be accused of something that you didn't do is a real tough pill to swallow and I think you make a great point. Pierre, what about you? When all this was unfolding back in 2018 and you're watching all of this, what were your initial thoughts? I was just hoping that I could slide into Kevin's camp now when that nigga gone, he gone. <laughs> so I was gonna slide, I'm the one put the tape out on him. You know what I mean? It was me, it was me, no. <laughs> no, what I will say is um, um, there's a reason why Kevin even thought he would do it. You know, there's a reason, we, and we don't know that, you know. Um, had one of my homeboys done that, I'd have been disappointed. Um, I don't know if I'd have went to the press as quick, you know, but it, it did go out. Kevin's a huge star. It had leaked. So people are going to wonder, how did it leak? You know, it wasn't that thing that Kevin could keep quiet. Once it's out there, it's out there. And the fingers and everything pointed to his homeboy. And Kevin rolled with it, even though he was kind of dicey with it. I mean, had I been, you know, I don't know if I would have. I'd have said, nah, I don't know who did it, man. I'm going to find it out before I put someone out there and say, I think so-and-so might have done it and stuff. Because I don't know how he got accused his homeboy. There had to be a reason. He chose to even believe his homeboy could do it. And that's more where I think the problem is. Like, why would you even think he could do it? Right. And I think both of you bring up a, a great point. And what I want to do is I actually want to play the clip where we did interview JT. So we'll watch that. Here's what he had to say. I ain't gonna lie, I was disappointed. I was still am. I'm going to be dead ass. Still am disappointed in him. Um, you know, him and I, we've, we've been friends you know, since that happened, like, a good 15 years strong. Strong. Like, it's like, homie, you know my character. <laughs> you, like, you're not going to hang around somebody that, for that long, and, and invite them into your personal space, you know, not just, you know, like, whatever happened that weekend where we all had a good time, we all went out, he invited us all out. But he invites he invited me, my wife, to mm. his home. We, you know, he took us uh, to Mexico. We had, you know, like that was the type of. That's how he looked at us, you know. And, and, and like I, you know, I, I was just disappointed. And he just immediately, boom, sends out that tweet. Mm. So from that clip, nice. we get to see a different perspective, right? Because the media was pushing, you know, Kevin's side, but now we're kind of getting to hear from JT for the first time. Right. Just that right. What was your um, Capone, I want to start back with you. What was your initial? I know I, I saw some of your your gestures while watching it. What were <laughs> you, you feeling and thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what were you feeling and thinking while watching it? I actually got pissed off. Mm. I got pissed off for a lot of reasons. One of the things that he said is he understands that Kevin is a megastar and his people. And when do you lose reality that much that you have to listen to people instead of going with your own notion of knowing what's right and wrong? And if he is a friend, and from sincerely seeing what I seen just now, you can tell he didn't do it. Mm. I don't have to be no court person. I don't have to be, reach out to me. Right. And for, first of all, I'm not, I don't care how big I get in this business, I will never be a Hollywood driven person. I'm gonna always be a real person. And 
whoever I am in contact with, I'm in contact with. Whoever I don't talk to, I don't talk to, and there's a reason for it. Right. But to see, like, okay, this guy is innocent, and he, like you said, he's been uh, copping his, his plea for innocence since day one. Mm -hmm. Reach out to him. Your people told you don't. That that hit me a different way just now. Yeah, I can feel I can feel that energy. I felt that. What about you, Pierre? What what was your initial thought while watching that clip? I, I pretty much agree with what Capone says. Uh, you know, you don't let one incident take away 15 years of. I'm quite sure they have stories of a lot of hidden bodies, if you know what I mean. You know, a lot of things have happened between them two. If they've been friends for 15 years, that they he could have let out. Um, yeah, I think I, I'm a little disappointed in Kevin just from the outside. I don't know because he said Kevin may have his, Kevin has his reasons. Well, I don't know what the reasons is. We don't know if they were already on the outs. There was a couple other things he's done before. I don't know. It's kind of it, it, it's kind of interesting how Kevin would cut someone off that quickly. I mean, totally off. That's not even Kevin. Kevin's not that he doesn't seem like that type of guy from what I know. He's pretty loyal, but to cut someone off, you know, that quickly. I wonder if there's been other things, you know, up to that point, and that was like a final straw. Even though it might have might not been true, he might have been might have been emotional, saying, "Look, I'm through with you, man. This is a lot of stuff you've been doing." Now this guy's only telling the you know the good stuff. We hung out, we you know we did all this kind of stuff. I don't remember him around me around Kevin, not at least in the big way of like I know Spanky and all the other guys that uh, uh, hang with you know go on tour with them. I'm not saying he's not wasn't in his circle, but is he putting more on it than the circle he really was in? How much was he really in the circle? Because I know. I know Capone for 20 some years, but I don't know a lot about, you know, just stuff I don't know about him, you know? So I wonder what, what, what that's really about. Um, like it's like Capone said, he's, he's generally hurt. I don't blame him, you know, to be around Kevin and Kevin, you know, the lifestyle Kevin have, he's out of that picture right now, but I'm still curious why Kevin hasn't reached out to him now. And if Kevin hasn't reached out to him now to this day and the charges are dropped, then it must be a little more than just that, that, that incident that's behind this to me. Right. So, so given the information that we do have, Pierre, how would you have handled the situation if you were Kevin Hart? Oh, first of all, I mean, it, it wouldn't have gone this long. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't say I like confrontation, but I like to, I like to, I like to stop it before things go further. So now, if you still or you doing something for me, I'm coming right to you. We're gonna have a sit down, man to man, right there, and, and, and see what you say. You can always say, I ain't doing that, I ain't doing. But I'm gonna be in your face, like, what up? Come on, bro. I've known you too long. What's the situation? Why is, why is your name up there? Whatever the case may be. So first of all, it wouldn't have gone that long. Let's say hypothetically, for some reason, it has gone that long. And now it comes back that, you know, you're exonerated and there's no proof of that you've done anything. Um, like I said, I couldn't let it go that long because I'd feel like a heel had to come back and say, yo, bro, are we cool now? My bad. I, I, just, I wouldn't let it go that far. So right. if it's my situation, it would have never been that far. I'd have, I'd have tapped him on the shoulder right when it happened, you know, to say, hey, you bro, know, what's up with this, man? Me. I definitely agree. Knowing somebody for, for that amount of time and not speaking to him at all, that, that sure. definitely does. I know you kind of empathize with the situation um, right. a little bit. So what, what about you? If you were Kevin Hart and maybe you've been in his shoes before, how would you have handled the situation? Uh, the phone call would have been the first thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell a lot from talking to somebody, not just uh, you have no proof. proof. And if there was a, a letter and all of this different stuff that was supposed to be, then... I mean, the professionals, they uh, got this guy off. And from what I'm hearing the story, he spent time for this. Am I right or wrong? He did get arrested. Yeah, yeah he got arrested. So therefore, I mean, they, we can never be cool again. Right. But um, th something needed to be said. And like I said, it's just a, a point of, you know, hearing him, hearing him say, you know, I know he's big now. I don't care how big you get. There's always, always a way to fall. But my thing is, hum you know, be humble. Mm -hmm. Humble is, is you, you have a friend. And same thing happened to me. I had a friend who, who lied on me. And uh, I called him and asked him why. You know, uh, he denied it, but the proof was there. And I just left it alone. But I spoke to him and told him. Right. We know, you know, we can never get hang out again. We can never speak again. And... You know, I'm, I'm glad you did what you did. It showed what, you know, the person that you are. And I'm cool with that. But I'm going to let you know. Don't reach out to me. There's no need for us to even think about hanging out. So I'm good with it. So so as we um, wrap up, I do want to say being in the presence, because I was actually there for the interview, I definitely feel exactly what you all feel. It was just a presence of, you know, I'm not really sure. Don't know the, you know, all the facts, but there was a sincerity there. Right. I can tell he was really hurt, and especially knowing somebody 
for that long, I can only imagine what this has to feel like to go through, the, go through this for so long and then to see the charges drop, as we mentioned in the clip, you don't, you don't see that. Like this is the first time JT has spoken out. I think I've seen headlines quietly talk about, you know, charges being dropped. But I have to bring up this point. Kevin did it. It was on tape. He did it. So regardless of, I can understand the extortion thing, no, yeah. but you got, you know, Kevin is my friend too, but you are guilty of what you've done you and who you done it to and the people that it affected. So now you want to push it or you, you, you got the morals to not call somebody after yeah. what was done. I mean, but but come on, we but come on, we do a lot of stuff that we don't want right, everybody to know. You're right. And just because we do it, don't mean that we want to be judged that way, man. I mean, you know, we all got some. Come on, Capone, you probably done. I'm I've done a lot. I've done a lot, and I might have got caught on tape, but I'm going to be. I'm going to be honest. If I got caught, I got caught. I'm not going to try to put the push the envelope on somebody else. Be responsible for what you did. That's just the bottom line. That's but, what but, I'm but, saying. But 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 but, but, no, but but I think the point is not about this. I'm not, it's not about the responsibility because he, he fessed up to what he did. He already fessed up to what he did. It's more about the point someone else put it out. If me and you doing dirt together, and let's say you married, I'm married, I'm cheating on my wife. Okay, we know we're cheating on my wife, but once you tell somebody about it, I'm gonna be like, well, he caught But you me. don't just you pick right. somebody huh? to blame. That seems like somebody just got picked for whatever reason. But me and you boys, we doing dirt together. We know what time it is. Nah, I do my dirt by is. my lonely. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 <laughs> that, was, that was the old school. I, I, I definitely understand what you're saying. But my thing is, if the kid is innocent, then who did it? Now it goes back to oh, square okay. one. I, I, okay, okay, that's the part. I, I agree with that. Yeah. But I don't want the kid, I don't want my homie to tell on me. You know, like, oh, And damn. I agree with you. <laughs> Yeah, if you no, my I, homie. I think, I think you both make a great point. You can tell like there's a lot of emotion because it deals with so much, right? We're talking about right. family. We were friendship. cheaters. Me and Pierre were cheaters. No. <laughs> easy, easy, man, easy. <laughs> you are. Well, y'all know okay. this gonna go well. You I'm telling you, we were cheaters. <laughs> your, your new name is JT Capone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, don't JT me. I'm gonna start saying don't JT me, man. Don't JT me, bro. <laughs> I think I think as we continue to watch the case unfold, you know, the facts are the facts right now. The case, like I said, the charges are dropped right. for insufficient evidence. So I am very interested to see how the rest of this pans out and you'll see more clips right here on Comedy Hype. But for Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. No more waiting to hear from us every Friday. You can now watch Comedy Hype News five days a week on YouTube and social media.